This little group here is the subject matter of two Rembrandt paintings. The first one that we're looking at here, direct from life, is in Munich. It's accepted as a Rembrandt painting. And then if we look round to the left, we'll see in the mirror is reflected the National Gallery version, which was always accepted as a Rembrandt until the Rembrandt Research Project said it couldn't possibly be by the same painter. In fact, the same painter has made a hundred similar examples of this in drawing. So the number of objects reflected are really amazing. There's the fa Holy Family, there's the Shepherd, there's this little boy who holds a dog, there's the man with the big rimmed hat and a lantern, there's this figure and even this tiny little figure that you can hardly see. As all these figures are reflected. So there's seven figures plus a post and hanging on the post is a sort of winnowing basket, I think, which when in the Munich version you cannot uh, tell what it is, but you can see there's something there. And in the National Gallery version, you can see that it's a basket. So we've not only got these three, all these objects reflected, but the relationship between them remains constant in both uh, paintings. The only thing we have to do is to move this cow forward to here to get the National Gallery version and the little boy with the dog has to be moved back to here for the National Gallery version. Otherwise, everything remains the same. We can now swing round onto the mirror. And we can now compare that array of figures with the picture in the National Gallery. We have used a piece of polished pewter as the mirror because glass of the size necessary, eight foot across, did not exist in Rembrandt's day. He could have used polished pewter or copper. Interestingly, Rembrandt very rarely made a good job of his work from reflection in polished metal because of the fuzzy quality of the reflection. For his self-portraits, he would have used a much smaller glass mirror. Carrying this large mirror into a barn would not have been easy, but perhaps easier than accommodating a cow in your studio home. More intelligent to ask, how else could he possibly have done it? These are not simple print images. These are a reversal of a different view of the same reality. True, the cow and the boy with the dog have moved position, but consider the number of constants. Not only the large number of objects, but the spaces between them are accurately reflected. Dr. van der Vettering says that the Munich painting is a Rembrandt, but the London one is not, in spite of the fact that the National Gallery's scientific staff have found that the materials and technique match perfectly with Rembrandt's and previous scholars have normally accepted it as a genuine Rembrandt. Van der Vettering has said that it could not possibly be by Rembrandt. He has been with the Rembrandt Research Project for 40 years, during which time we have lost half of Rembrandt's life's work and his reputation has sunk accordingly.